Welcome, shall we observe the sun? First up is the LASCOC2 and C3 filters, showing the latest CME from the 21st through the 23rd. NOAA forecasters say that a CME might deliver a glancing blow to Earth's magnetic field later today. The impact, if it occurs, could spark geomagnetic unrest on March 24. Arctic sky watchers should be alert for auroras. Something just exploded on the far side of the sun. On March 21, the Solar and Heliospheric Observatory SOHO, recorded a massive CME emerging from behind the sun's southwestern limb. A few hours later, it happened again. If Earth had been in the line of fire, we would now be anticipating a strong geomagnetic storm. Instead, the storm clouds will miss our planet. Although the explosions were not Earth-directed, they nevertheless managed to touch our planet. Shortly after the first CME emerged, NOAA's GOES-17 satellite detected a surge of energetic protons. Here we observe the last solar flare, that erupted from the 10 o'clock position of the Sun. We can see the latest CME mapped on this model, which occurred on the 20th. Mercury and the Parker SP satellite gets a direct hit of radiation and solar winds as the OSIRIS satellite receives a glancing blow. The moon tonight is in the waning gibbous phase. Illumination, 69%. Gazing to the southeast, toward the sun, the location of the planets today can be observed. The planets viewed from space. And as always, sit back, relax, and let me keep my eye on the sun for you.